So here are a couple problems relating to uh, the interference of sound waves. Okay, so the setup of the problem is that there are two speakers uh, mounted on a wall, separated by 5.25 meters. An observer is standing 40 meters from the wall and directly in front of one of the speakers. Alright, so let's draw that. Um, we have a speaker here, and a second speaker here. They're separated by 5.25 meters, and there's an observer 40 meters from the wall and directly in front of one of the speakers. So it looks like this. Right, not quite to scale, but that's okay. Alright, so then we're told that both speakers are driven by the same source, so the, emit, um, the sound uh, emitted is in phase, meaning um, peaks come out of each uh, speaker at the same time and valleys come out at the same time. All right. uh, so question A here says, if the speakers are driven at 1.5 kilohertz, does this person hear a quiet, a loud, or an intermediate sound? All right, so let me write that here. Frequency is 1.5 kilohertz, um, which is 1500 hertz. All right, so we're basically asked, is this constructive, destructive, or uh, somewhere in between? All right. So to answer that, uh, we need to look at the path length difference. All right, because that what governs whether um, these two waves reach the observer at uh, in phase or exactly out of phase. All right. So to find the path length difference, um, I need to know this path length, um, and I already know this path length. So this is just the um, hypotenuse of a right triangle. All right. So I can just take the square root of um, the sum of the squares of these sides. Right. That's just Pythagorean theorem. So 40 squared plus 5.25 uh, squared. It's supposed to be a 5. All right. And if you do that, you end up with 40.343 meters. All right. So again, the two equations that govern this for uh, constructive interference, we're asking for uh, the path length difference needs to be an integer number of wavelengths. All right, so m here is uh, 0, 1, 2, and so forth. All right, so that's one possibility. The other possibility is destructive interference. And for that, the path length difference is um, an integer plus a half um, of wavelength. So what that shows up is as m plus one half lambda. For the same, m could be zero, one, two, or so on. Okay, so these are the two equations um, that we should be checking. All right, so let me shift this a little bit. Those are two equations we're checking. Uh, so we need the path length difference, which we just calculated, is 40.343. And we also need wavelength. Uh, so we're given frequency, uh, and remember that wavelength is related to frequency through the wave speed, which we're actually given. Um, take the speed of sound to be 343 meters per second. So the relationship here is that V equals lambda F. So V is 343 meters per second. Lambda is what we're looking for, and F is 1500 hertz. If you do that math, the wavelength turns out to be 0 0.228, uh, we'll round it to 7 meters. Okay, so um, to test whether it's one or the other of these, uh, I'm going to take the ratio of the path length difference in lambda. Alright, because each of these equations has that in it, and if I get an integer, then I know it's constructive interference. If I get an integer plus a half, so like 0.5 or 1.5 or 2.5, then I know it's destructive. If I get something else, that just means it's neither one of these and it would be an intermediate sound, right? Not, not the loudest, not the quietest, just somewhere in between. So here's my test. Is the path length difference divided by 
lambda. All right, so I can plug those numbers in here. Um, the path length difference will be the difference between 40.343 and 40. Right? This is just the extra distance that the bottom wave has to travel. Right? So I'm dividing that by the wavelength, which is 0 0.02, oh, sorry. Uh, it's just uh, 0 0.22. Eight seven meters, right? And that gives you one point five zero, and I think there's even another zero here. So that corresponds to destructive interference, right? Specifically, corresponds to constructive inter or destructive interference where m equals one, right? In this case, it doesn't really matter exactly which m it is. Um, all that matters is that it does fit this equation. Okay, so what we have here is destructive interference, or um, a quiet sound is heard. All right, so the second part of this question says, um, uh, what is the, the first frequency above 1.5 kilohertz at which the opposite type of inter interference is observed. All right, so the frequency, the first one above 1.5 kilohertz. So uh, we're taking these speakers, we're driving them um, the higher frequency, and we want to see uh, when we get constructive interference in this case. So for constructive interference, again, we're looking for the, uh, the path length difference to be an integer number of wavelengths. Okay, so um, I already have a path length difference. I found it up above. Um, now I'm looking for a new wavelength corresponding to a new frequency, right? But really what I'm asking for is frequency, so I'm going to replace lambda with v over f. Okay, so I'm going to write um, m times v over f where f is really what I'm interested in. All right? So I can solve this equation for f. I could say f equals um, m times v divided by the path length difference. Okay, so I actually have uh, v and the path length difference, um, and m is just some integer, so we'll play with that in a minute. Um, so we can plug these numbers in. Let's do it. Uh, let's do it right here. So if we plug these numbers in, uh, we leave m as m. V will be 343 meters per second, and the path length difference from above was 0 0.2287 uh, meters. I'm sorry, that was the wavelength from above. Uh, the path length difference from above was 0 0.343 meters. Uh, my apologies. So um, this is m times, it looks like it's 1,000. 1,000 hertz. OK, so that means 1,000 hertz is a constructive frequency. All right, but that's not above um, 1,500 hertz, right? Um, we have this m here. m can be 0, it could be 1, it could be 2. 0 doesn't make a whole lot of sense here, but 1, uh, 1, 2, 3. Does. So let's say this. f could equal 100 hertz, uh, sorry, uh, 1,000 hertz, 2,000 hertz, 3,000 hertz, and so forth. The first one of those that is above um, 1,500 is this one. So that's our answer. The first constructive frequency above uh, 1500 hertz is 2000 hertz.